Greetings viewer, welcome to my channel. And yep, it's that time of the year where I gotta do a spooky video. So here's my Halloween Just Dance map review, which is part of my series Just Dance map review, where I review specific Just Dance maps. If you don't know what a map is, it's the songs that we play slash select from the menu and Just Dance. The song we're covering today is Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett and the Crypt Kickers, but covered by the Frighteners. Let's begin with some background information. This song is mentioned in Just Dance 3's Apache, Jump On It. Monster Mash was also originally planned to release for season 10 of the Chinese version of Just Dance 2020 to celebrate Halloween. However, due to China not allowing the celebration of Western holidays and festivals, it was scrapped and replaced with other routines. Monster Mash is also the first Halloween themed routine in the entire series. In the original Just Dance 2, instead of showing the dancer, it just shows the dancer's disembodied head. This is a subtle nod to the design of the coach. Also in the original Just Dance 2, when the arm detaches from the body, the red glove cannot be seen. However, this is fixed in You're the First, The Last, My Everything mashup in Just Dance 4. The background of this song also appears in the background of Rock Lobster. The game is original to Just Dance 2, but it is now playable on Just Dance Unlimited and Just Dance Now. However, I played the Just Dance 2 original version. It's from the album, the original Monster Mash. The cover was released in 2010, but the original was released in 1962. It was remade for Just Dance Unlimited on October 22nd, 2015. It has a difficulty rating of one, but medium in the remake, an effort rating of one, but low in the remake, two gold moves, the pictogram color is jade green, the glove color is red, the lyric color is orange in the remake, because Just Dance 2 didn't have lyric colors in the original, and it has 57 pictograms. I have some notes that I wrote down after playing the song. I gotta say that using Frankenstein's monster, and yes I said that right, it's Frankenstein's monster, not Frankenstein, was creative, but also there it could have been better. Like, there's a lot of classic monsters that they could have used for this song, but I guess Frankenstein's monster was the easiest to replicate with a human. Although, the fact that it is Frankenstein did allow for the disembodied head to be attached to the actual dancer's head again. I would love to see the behind the scenes of how they did it. If I had to guess, it was probably the dancer themselves wearing a green mask and then they put the mask of the Frankenstein's monster on top of it. Either way, it's very fun. And I do like that they continue to play with it at the very end where the coach loses his left arm. That's just fun. Now let's move on to the background of the song. In both the original and the remake for Just Dance Unlimited, the routine takes place in a monochrome laboratory. The equipment from above light up like lightning at the beginning of the routine while the monster puts on his head. Sometimes bats fly around. And yeah, it's Just Dance 2. They're gonna mostly go with simple backgrounds with, if you're lucky, some movement. Obviously this is an improvement from Just Dance 1 where it was basically just a static PNG that made you think why they would even use backgrounds and green screens, but it is what it is. In Just Dance 2, it has improved marginally, but instead of sometimes having movement, it's a little bit of the time they have movement. And obviously they weren't gonna break the bank for Monster Mash of all songs. Although I will say that the monochrome style really does harken back to the days when these monsters were created. It was before the color times, and that's what's scary. People used to see in black and white, oh no! Anyway. The background, you know, it's Just Dance 2, you can't really expect much. So in terms of Just Dance 2, I'm gonna give it a super. Although it's kind of lazy that they didn't remake it or anything for Just Dance Unlimited. So the Just Dance Unlimited version gets a good. Let's move on to the appearance of the coach. In the original, the dancer is based off Frankenstein's monster. He has short aquamarine hair, a wrinkled face with red half-closed eyes, and dominant facial features. He wears a tattered jade green blazer with a dark green collar, dark green sleeves, and a red patch on the right sleeve, a white and green striped shirt, tattered teal pants with white laces, and green and red patches, green and dark green striped long socks under the white shoes with black highlights. At the beginning of the routine, his head is detached from the rest of the body and held on the right hand. Before the song starts, he places it on his neck while a light blue lightning effect plays between the two parts. And then his whole body is surrounded by lightning for a few seconds. At the end of the routine, his left arm falls off. In the remake, his color scheme is slightly lighter and he has a light green glow around his body. At the end, his right arm falls off a few split seconds later and with a different transition, which also changes its final position and he does the classic fade at the end of the song. And yeah, like I said before, this is just Frankenstein's monster. A relatively simple human to recreate with makeup and a costume, but I still think that this iteration is very fun. But I don't like that they just dance to'd him a lot, and by that I mean they chose like four colors and decided to just keep it like that. 
In the early Just Dance games, the coaches were designed to have very, very minimal use of colors. Like I said, this one only has about four unique ones. It really makes you think about when exactly they decided to change this rule, because in the future we got some very, very colorful coaches. But hey, in terms of Just Dance 2, where they didn't have all the money in the world, I'm gonna give it a perfect, because it does also make thematic sense. I mean, come on, Monster Mash, Frankenstein's Monster, it's in the name. And finally, let's move on to the gold moves. There are two gold moves in this routine. In the first gold move, you flap both your hands like a bat. And in the second gold move, you shake your arms back and forth. Now, I will say that the first gold move happens when the singer talks about Dracula. And even the pictogram shows the, the famous Dracula cape instead of the usual arrows telling you exactly how to move your arms. So it does make thematic sense, and I'll definitely give it points for that. But the second one is just, really, really? That is gold move worthy. There are more deserving moves in this routine in particular that would deserve a gold move so much better, but this is the great minds at Ubisoft that decided this, so there's nothing we could do about it. I mean, I guess it's not awful, so yeah. I'm gonna give the first gold move a perfect and the second gold move a good, cause come on, that is so disappointing. Overall, Monster Mash gets a super from me. Very okay map. Do you have any suggestions for any future Just Dance map reviews? Don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. I promise to get to them eventually. Thank you for watching. Adios.